I am Judy Thomas. I work for Volunteer Cornwall and I coordinate the volunteers um, in the Penwith and Carrier areas. It's been so, um, well, I say beneficial, but it, 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 that's not the word that covers it. You know, it's been so pivotal for the, for the people that have been helped, which is over nearly 6,000 people have been helped now. Um, and what would they have done with, without those volunteers saying, yes, I'll help out. I'm, you know, I've got the time. And that's what volunteers have as an asset is the time to give. Mm -hmm. um, and if they keep on giving and they know how they say beneficial it is to the person, the individual, but mm -hmm. it's also beneficial to themselves, um, helping their, supporting their community, helping those individuals um, to uh, be independent and uh, be able to live the life they, they you know, um, need to live. It's, it's put another um, thread to it all really, another uh, way of getting support out there that might not be readily available from the health and care sector. Mm -hmm. um, the, the health and care sector have been um, uh, quite reliant on us, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and the volunteers obviously, the volunteer side. Um, to say, yes, you know, we've tried all other avenues, you know, is there some way that your volunteers can help um, and support this client? And uh, when there's, and, and, and uh, our volunteers, you know, you ring them up and uh, they're absolutely wonderful when you ring them up and you say, this might be a bit of an odd request or it might be, if, and they say, just tell me, what is it? Uh, how can I help? Mm -hmm. And you, know, you think, oh, gosh, all like, you think, all like <laughs> angels, really, um, so. and able to help out and, uh, you know, make that uh, person's life a little bit better. Mm -hmm. They've been getting the meds for people that were extremely vulnerable and in lockdown, getting their shopping, getting food bank parcels, um, just helping out with all the requests um, that we had through from people that said, you know, I can't get out. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm vulnerable, and uh, I have nobody else to help me. We we like to thank our volunteers throughout the year, mm -hmm. um, but there's never enough words and enough ways we can say thank you so much for what you've done. Mm -hmm. we, we know that there's been thousands, let's say, eighty-four thousand actions that we've done. The volunteers have done in the past two years. Um, how can we? How can we? express our gratitude anymore we know you've given your most precious asset which is time um to to the clients um and it's when you work for the in the voluntary sector your, your eyes are suddenly opened to how many volunteers are doing how many things it, you can't probably go a day without thinking oh they're a voluntary run group oh that's a charity oh you know it's it's everywhere and if we've come to a grinding halt if the estimated 140,000 volunteers weren't doing what they were doing in Cornwall that is I mean, I mean um, you know I I was going to mention organizations but the the other organizations I don't mention because there's so many out there mm -hmm. you just think about it um, charities community groups um, social action groups covering everything that's this could possibly be covered from animals to a to z really of everything that's out there 